guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Kristen and today I'm gonna share with you guys ways that you can use mason jars for the fall time. I think I may end up doing one of these for Christmas too because this video was so much fun. So let's get into the video. So all of my mason jars that came from a yard sale and they were 25 cents each, which that is amazing. So the first a DIY, I'm using just some acorns. I think these are from Walmart. If not, I know they've had them at Dollar Tree in the past. And I'm just adding some florals. These are from Michael's and they were 98 cents. And I just added a little twine bow. And that is it for number one DIY. It is that easy. It's that easy. No glue either, which... Those are always my favorite. This next one, I'm using another one of these mason jars and I popped pretty much all of the lids off of these in the beginning and then I will be using some of the lids in the end. So first thing I did was grab some burlap. I think this is actually from Dollar Store uh, or Dollar Tree. Maybe, maybe not, but I, I've had it for so long. Just taking a little bit of hot glue and wrapping that burlap around and you could leave it as is. I mean... It's actually really cute with just a little bit of burlap on there. A little bit more glue. You may or may not burn your fingers if you're like me and refuse to use those little finger protectors, but I'd much rather have this. So here we go. So wrapping that, adding it, took a little bit more time than I thought. And then I decided to just add a leaf to the center and then add some florals, whatever you have on hand in there, greenery possibly. I just added some fall florals and these are from I want to say Dollar General and Dollar Tree. Forged Hammer Burnished Amber by Rust-Oleum is one of my favorite spray paints. I love this. I'm taking four of these mason jars and spray painting those. I love spray painting any chance I get. It just makes things go a little bit faster. And I'm also working in a spray tent. No, I do not have a Lazy Susan yet. Maybe someday, but cardboard works just fine for me. Along with cardboard boxes, I'm using this John Deere yellow. <laughs> this was just something I had at the, they had at the hardware store. It was only yellow and I've used it before, but I love this one. I'm just spray painting these letters. These were from Michaels and you've probably seen them in some recent DIYs I've done, but I decided to paint them and I am going to be gluing the F, the A, and the L and the L to these mason jars to make a cute little centerpiece or something centered on a shelf would look super cute too. And just added some greenery, some eucalyptus and some sunflowers. And I think these are so cute. You could really do any color you wanted, but I love this burnished amber color. I think it's definitely one of my favorites. Next one, we are going to just jump into napkins. These were $2 at Dollar General and I've used these before in other DIYs, but I love this napkin. I love it because it has four sides. Sometimes you get napkins and they have those white sides and you can't use them. And like this one, you can make so many projects with. So I'm just using some Mod Podge and a napkin and I have been trying different techniques uh, my last video, you probably saw that I used a glue stick instead of Mod Podge. Works amazing. I also tried using the lighter and burning technique to this. I did not show it in the video because my house was just smoking. I don't think I did it right. I This is why I don't work with fire and super glue and things like that because it really never goes my way. So you're going to see a couple little burned edges around the sides because I try to use that good old lighter technique. Uh, and then once that was done, I decided just to Mod Podge over the top. And then I'm just adding some twine around the top as well, just to kind of cover my little flaws and mistakes. We all have those a time or two when we craft, but uh, I had burning issues with the napkin. I think I had to add Mod Podge and then do it again, but you know, trial and error always works. Throw some twine, throw some florals in there and you have a super cute mason jar. Mason jar I actually already had on hand and it was starting to be painted red. So I just went back in with that crimson color by Waverly and just did another coat. It didn't take very long to dry. I also spray painted with a rust orange color for some of these lids because you're going to see later on I did a DIY with these using wood stems from Dollar Tree. I'm just adding that to the center or to the top and then 
adding some leaves. And this is a cute little apple mason jar. Now, I'm not a huge fan of the apple decor, although I know some people are. So I think this is a really fun one for you. If you like the apple decor, you could make a ton of these. mason jars or vases or any type of nautical rope just kind of bring me back to my beginning of my YouTube days because I feel like I used to take twine or rope and wrap it around anything that was glass all the time which I will tell you what if you drop your glass vase that is wrapped in rope or twine it doesn't really shatter everywhere. It just kind of shatters in itself. So <laughs> there's a hack for you. If you don't want your glasses to shatter and you're really not super careful with your home decor, uh, you don't have to pick up glass. You just have to pick up your jar and throw it away. Uh, but I'm using like one and a half of these ropes. I think it's in like nine and a half feet. I know the rope always comes in different sizes constantly. Maybe I did use two. I think I maybe just almost used two. I had issues. I picked this up and the rope all came off because I didn't use more glue. So I went back, use more hot glue, use hot glue. It's okay to use a lot if you have to. I love these little leaves from Dollar Tree. So I just grabbed one of those and added it to the center. It's kind of similar to the one with the burlap and just the plain little leaf, but these leaves are so stinking cute. I love them. I also found the pumpkin ones and I grabbed those recently too. So I think I may or may not have some cute ideas for those, but just add some florals in here and you're good to go. There's another fun, quick, these are all quick, mason jar DIYs. If I'm using glass, what is a video without window clings? I did a window cling video recently or maybe a few weeks ago, maybe even a month ago, and I loved it. It was one of the most fun Yes, it was one of the most fun videos that I did. It took no time and you can reuse these if you don't mod, even if you do mod podge, they just peel right off. But I love sticking window clings to absolutely anything glass. Yes, they're for glass, they're for windows, but I mean like signs, frames, jars, I mean really anything. They're so stinking cute. This one was started to kind of peel off just a tiny bit. It was a little oversized, a little big, but I love that ribbon. That ribbon is from Dollar Tree and that pumpkin pick is from Walmart. Next one, we are going to be using some jar lids. I don't know why I did not focus that in. I was just really ahead of myself, but I think it's a rust color by rust -Oleum. I will link it if you guys do want it, or if you do want it, I will grab it out of my stash and let you guys know. But uh, I thought this was like a more of a terracotta color, which I love the terracotta color. So I had to pick this one up. Uh, I normally don't have a ton of colorful spray paints. So this was something new for me to buy this and that yellow, I think are my most like utmost type colors of spray paint. Yeah. Let's just talk about spray paint for a minute here. I only like Rust-Oleum spray paint. I think we all have our favorites, but Rust-Oleum has to be my favorite. And it's because of that little nozzle has the best nozzle. Those are my favorite. So I'm also painting the tops of these. I did not end up using these because the project I wanted did not work. So I saw this on Pinterest. I thought this was cool. So you just take some twine and your lids and you tie them together like so. And then once they are tied, I tied them tight, but not super tight where I wasn't able to move the lids because you're going to kind of want to move them around a little bit to spread them out to make them look like a pumpkin. Now, I maybe should have sealed these. I know like lids are not the most fun to mess around with because like the paint started kind of chipping off a little bit, but I really liked, uh, they kind of started off red to start with, but I kind of like the red seeping through or like showing through just a little bit. And then I'm just ha using some of these wood stems. These are from Dollar Tree, but if you have a tree and a branch or a stick that fell down, you could just use something in your old backyard. Uh, I've done that many, many times, uh, and it's free to use. Uh, and if you can't find the wood stems, I have not been able to find the wood stems. I have been gifted these wood stems, 
and I'm so glad I did. These are so cute. And then I'm just adding some greenery and leaves. These were from a yard sale. So they're pretty tiny, but I love these. And I think these worked out really, really well. And then just to finish this off, I decided to add a twine bow. I just kind of wrapped some twine around and made a cute little bow and called it a day. the last DIY I decided to bring back that lid and repaint it I want to make it a pumpkin and I was like I cannot have everything the exact same color when it's a pumpkin so I grabbed my Waverly chalk paint and moss and painted that rim and then the top of the lid once that was done I just put it on my mason jar I spray painted it that terracotta rust color by rust-oleum you probably saw in the last clip that I threw a mason jar towards the background didn't say anything about it I kept it kind of a secret so if you go back you're gonna see I did end up laying a mason jar down and spray painting that so once this was done I'm adding a wood stem and then I pull it off and the paint comes off and I was like I need to add leaves first and then the stem and then you're going to see here that the stem kind of started leaning and falling because it wasn't stuck to the lid. It was stuck to the leaves. Eventually, I got it all down. Just kind of, you know, add your leaves around your stem. It will work. <laughs> like, I don't know what my deal was this day. Like, this was like multiple days of actually doing these mason jar videos. That's why it was so funny. And you're kind of seeing it slowly lean just a little bit. I'm like, oh my gosh pull it off again, redo it, move it around, add more hot glue. But I think this pumpkin turned out so stinking cute. But you guys, that is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, I would love if you consider sticking around and subscribing and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.